Welcome back to the Mindstorm channel, the channel that brainstorms in creative ways to help increase your income. In my last video, I gave you 11 fun to start small business ideas. Here are 11 more small business ideas for beginners that you can start today. First on our list, start a recycling and upcycling business. A recycling and upcycling business is a company that takes recyclables and transforms it all into new products. This can include anything from making new clothes out of old t-shirts to creating jewelry from plastic waste. Not only is this kind of business a great way to reduce waste and help the environment, but it can also be quite profitable when you create the right products. Number two, run a transport business. A transport business is a company that provides transportation services for people or goods. The most common type of transport business is a taxi service. But you don't have to drive a taxi. Instead, you can become an Uber or a Lyft driver. There are many different types of transportation businesses, and they all have one thing in common. They help people or goods get from one place to another. For your new business, you can come up with a new twist on this transportation idea. Number three on the list, web design and development. If you're thinking about starting a web design and development business, there are a few things you should know. First, it's not as easy as it looks. It takes years of practice to become good at web design and development. Second, you need to be able to market your business effectively. There are millions of websites out there, and if you want people to find yours, you need to be able to tell them what makes your site special. If you're not particularly great at design or coding, think about this. You can create a small business and hire people who are two or three designers, a programmer, and a person who knows how to promote your new small business could quickly grow your new small business into a profitable big business. Number four, accounting and bookkeeping. If you're good with numbers and have a head for business, then starting a small business in accounting and bookkeeping might just be for you. Choose your niche. When you're ready to start your own business, it's important to choose a niche that you're passionate about. Maybe you'll want to work with other small businesses, or maybe freelancers or nonprofits. Number five, event planning. If you're organized and enjoy bringing people together, then starting a small event planning business may be perfect for you. First, start by considering the demographics of your town. What kind of events would you need to plan? And what types of venues you'll need? Then research the venue options in your area. Check out Yelp reviews and find out which ones are most popular among locals. You may also locate a good PR or marketing firm to help elevate your event to a larger audience. You'll want to decide on how much you'll charge for your services. Then start networking and start building relationships with vendors and start booking events. Number six, home improvement. You've got the tools, the talent, and the drive to start your own home improvement business. But where to start? Here are a few things you'll need to do to get your business off the ground. First, come up with a clever name for your business. Something that will make people remember you when they need someone to fix their leaky faucet or unclog their toilet. Get yourself some business cards and flyers made up and distributed around your neighborhood. You can never have too much marketing. Decide what services you're going to offer and price them competitively. No one wants to overpay for home repairs. And finally, make sure to get insured. Number seven, you can become a personal trainer. If you're passionate about working out and helping others achieve their fitness goals, maybe consider starting your own personal training business. It's a great way to earn a living while doing something you love. Here are a few tips to get you started. Do your research. Find out what type of personal training businesses are already out there and what services they offer. This will help you determine what kind of niche you can fill. Create a business plan. This will help you map out your startup costs, marketing strategy, and financial goals. Make sure to get certified. Becoming a certified personal trainer will give you the credibility and knowledge you need to be successful in this competitive industry. And finally, promote your business. Let everyone know about your new personal training business. Number 8. A pet sitting or pet walking business. Starting your own pet sitting service 
is a great way to get outdoors, meet new people, and get paid to do it. First things first, you'll need to make sure you're good with animals. If you're not a fan of furry creatures, this probably isn't the business for you. But if you love animals and have always wanted to work with them, this could be perfect. Once you've decided that you're ready to take on the challenge of being a pet sitter or walker, it's time to start promoting your business. Social Media Marketing the number one way to grow your pet sitting business is by getting the word out about it. Social media is a great place to start because it's such a popular and effective platform. You can promote your business with Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and more. Number 9. Try Print On Demand Some businesses manufacture products in bulk and then sell them through retailers. Others sell directly to customers through e-commerce platforms and then there are print-on-demand businesses. What exactly is a print-on-demand business? In a nutshell, it's a company that doesn't print products until an order is placed. This means that there's no need to keep inventory on hand, which can save on costs. Some companies specialize in prints, like posters or artwork, while others focus on apparel or other physical goods, like printing images on coffee mugs. Search Google for print-on-demand to get a more rounded idea of what this service provides. It's powerful and can be very profitable. Number 10. Videographer A good video production company is always a sought-after service. People use videographers for weddings, anniversary, or birthday events. If you're good with editing, having your work on a website or on a reel can make you look very professional and entice potential clients. There are no educational or licensure requirements for starting a video production business. Also, it pays to specialize. Real estate videos differ radically from wedding videos, and wedding videos differ radically from interviews and testimonials. By specializing in one niche, you'll be able to target a specific market and grow your videographer business faster. At number 11 on the list, we have Amazon Kindle Publishing. You can make money off your writing skill. It works like this. You write a book and upload it to Amazon Kindle Publishing. Amazon's review team will review the book. Once approved, it will be published on Amazon and readers can purchase your book or books. Each time your book gets sold, Amazon will take a certain percentage and leave the rest to you. If done correctly, Amazon KDP can be a great source of passive income and it's scalable. To learn more, just hop over to Amazon and read up on how to start this money-making business. So if you're looking for some ideas on starting your own small business, with a little hard work and dedication, you could be raking in the dough in no time. If you haven't seen my other 11 small business ideas, you can watch it here or in the link below.